All right, everyone, we have Tyler ready. Uh, John Boyle, would you like to lead us off? Yeah, Tyler, obviously for you, big game, three touchdowns. Just what was working so well for, for you guys in the passing game this week? Yeah, well, first of all, I just want to give God all the glory. Uh, it was a big game out there, man. I think Dallas did a great job in being able to hold us from a lot of the big plays. But I think we just figured out how to be efficient. We realized that they were taking away the big plays, so we had to figure out how to convert on third downs. I think the hardest part for us was the first and second game, we haven't really been a good team at converting the third downs. And even on that last drive, we had to figure out a way. And Greg was able to get that first down on fourth and three. And I think that's what continues to keep the drive alive. And that's what allows us to be able to build and also be able to have explosive plays. I think also the line did a tremendous job on that last play that we were able to hit DK across the field. And I think it's just the little things that allows us to be successful as a whole unit. Bob Condota. Hey, hey, Tyler, just sort of what was the mood? I mean, the, the, that last drive, we've seen you guys do this so often, but uh, the, the last drive when you guys are behind and, you know, the offense had not really moved at the previous couple drives before that. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, we didn't really good, do a good job in coming out in the second half after we scored that touchdown after the turnover. But I think for us, we just had to find a way. And like I said, Dallas did a great job adjusting and they were holding us down. We weren't able to get a rhythm like we did in the first half. And I think that the biggest thing that everybody could figure out about this team and about Russ is that we're always going to find a way. You know, the, the Seahawks are known to figure it out on that last drive when it always matters. And we don't want to put ourselves in a position where that's always the case, but that's always been the history even before I came here, is that we always find a way on that last drive. And I think it says a lot about Russ and it says a lot about the team that we have, how we all come together and figure out whatever it is that we got to do to be able to make this work and to be able to win this game. That's what you see come to pass and that's what you see from each and every person in that last drive. Curtis Crabtree. Hey, Tyler, did you uh, say anything to uh, DK after the initial would have been touchdown? And then was it good to see him come back and get the game winner at the end after that? Uh, yeah, I don't really remember what I said, but I just I think if I said anything, I was just like, hey, keep playing like you. All right. You know, things like that happen. And like I said, like you said, I was really happy that he was able to score that last touchdown to be able to to give us that game winner. You know, I think it allows a lot of people to kind of let that slide, let it go. We'll talk about it. You know, that's a learning experience for each and every person and as a receiver, whoever touches the ball. That's something that we can all just kind of think about and just be reminded that it's not over until we score and the rest blow the whistle. But ultimately, I'm really happy that he scored that touchdown. I'm really happy that he made that touchdown to allow us to win the game. And I'm just happy that we found a way, honestly. That was a tough game. A.J. McCord. Tyler, there were a lot of injuries on both sides of the ball today. Just what can you say about the depth and the players who stepped up when they were called upon at the last minute? Yeah, well, I think, you know, the biggest thing about just being in a league and being on a team is you never know when you're going to get that opportunity. And once you get that opportunity, you got to be able to go out there and play. And I think when you look at Neil, you know, he made that interception at the last game. Like, he hadn't gotten a chance to be able to play or do anything yet, and he finally got that chance to get in. And it's really about what do you do with that opportunity. And I think it just shows that that's what the NFL is about, is each person taking advantage of the opportunities that they get. Uh, it really sucks the fact that a lot of people are getting hurt in the league. That's the thing that everybody was kind of talking about when we were trying to figure out if we were even going to play with COVID. Uh, whenever there was a lockout in 2011, a lot of people were getting hurt, and now you see the same thing happening right now. So it really sucks that we haven't really gotten the right time that we needed to be able to get ourselves right so that we could try to prevent things like this happening. But the biggest thing is we just got to try to figure it out, find a way, and try to remain safe as much as possible. But for the guys that are able to take advantage of these opportunities, this is the way that they stay in the league, and this is the way that they create their own name and they create their own legacy. All right, one more for Tyler, Corbin Smith. Hey, Tyler, you guys had a ton of success with the passing game inside the five-yard line today, and there's not much room to work with down there. It can be really difficult to throw the football. But as a receiver, uh, what's the biggest difference maker for you trying to get open in that situation when you don't have much room to operate? Yeah, well, I think the best part about me is I'm kind of small, so I could try to wiggle my way through everybody. But um, you just got to try to figure out how to make it work. Like you said, there's a lot of people right there. Everything is condensed. 
And based off of the play calls, you got to try to just wiggle through everything. It's kind of like a little maze. Everybody's running around, and you just try not to run into people. But it's just staying alive and staying open. We have a quarterback that can figure out a way to run around and just keep the play alive. And you never know when he's going to be able to give it to you. And I think you see that in some games. In other games, our line does a great job, allows him to stay in the pocket for as long as he wants, and he's able to make that play. But you got to give credit to the coaches and being able to scheme everything up figuring out what it is that the Cowboys like to do or whoever it is that we're playing so that we can try to take advantage of that when we are in those condensed um, yards before we're able to actually score a touchdown in the red zone. Thank you, Tyler. All right, appreciate it. Y'all have a good one.